Hey, what's going on YouTube? The channel's If Sports Cards. My name is Ian and welcome to the top 10 retail polls for the month of August. This is a fun one. It takes a lot of time to put this together though. So if you could do me a huge favor and give this a like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. But before we get started, I need to remind you that this episode is sponsored by PSA and I am very excited to announce they have already released their September specials. Fittingly enough, they have an NFL special for $16 per card. You can send any card from 2000 to the present and that has a $300 max declared value. But if you have an autograph that you want to get graded, you can use their dual service value special for $30 per card. This one you can send in anything $19.90 to present, and it has a max declared value of $500. This one is not football specific either. But in order to access these specials, you must be a PSA Collectors Club member, which I do have a link in my description box for you to click on and you can become one yourself. I will say they do have two other specials that are pretty awesome. They're for the big boy cards though. This is a retail video, so I'll release those two on Monday. But if you can't wait, you can also click on that link in my description box below. To get on today's video, it took a poll of $350 with eight out of the 10 polls coming from blaster boxes. I do miss the hangers in the mega boxes, but if you weren't polling Topps Chrome Baseball or Optic Football, chances are you were not going to get on this list this month. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this one, and thank you again for liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Kicking us off at number 10 is BML Ball Cards, who on Instagram sent me this video of his rip from 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. This was a blaster box. Holy smokes. Okay. I got five cards in this pack. Volpe. <laughs> Corbin Carroll. Well, I guess we'll do the pink first. Acuna, that's 40 bucks. Oh, please be someone good, be a rookie. It's one of the case hits out of 25. Sammy Sosa? Dude, that's Oh my good. gosh. That's a case hit, dude. Oh my goodness, what a pack. This is the Sammy Sosa Ultraviolet Orange Auto numbered 8 out of 25. I have this at $350 as that is about what the last one of these sold for. But that was his jersey number, so I'll give the jersey number of sale just a little bit more of a premium. At number 9, we are with Famous Cards 2.0 who on his YouTube channel pulled this out of 2022 Optic Football. This was a blaster box. All right, Quandre Riggs. Oh, we got a downtown, baby. We got a downtown. Let's go. Oh my gosh, what a rip. So we got Nick Benito on the back. We got a purple shock. Troy Anderson. Let's see what we got here. We're just gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, let's go, Josh Allen on the downtown, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that might be my biggest pull. I do believe it is. Woo, let's go. This is the Josh Allen downtown, and I have this at $400, which is what this card typically sells for, and a PSA 10 sold for three times that amount on the same day this week. At number eight, we are with 40 XLR Cards, who on his YouTube channel posted this poll from a 2023 Topps Chrome Blaster Box, but uh, he had his gloves on, so I think he knew he was going to pull something amazing. Check this out. Hopefully this will make it, um, make it on If Sports with Ian. We'll see about that, because this came out of a Blaster Box. This is 2023 Chrome, Topps Chrome Baseball. It's a Blaster Box. I pulled a red four of five Aaron Judge autograph out of a blaster box. Just look at my hand shaking. I mean, this is seriously, and this has to be the biggest pull that I've ever made to date. 
My dude had to do a voiceover because he said he had copyright music and a podcast going on in the background. But as he said, look at the way his hands were shaking. This was the Aaron Judge Tops and Technicolor Auto Red, number four out of five. And I have this at an estimated $400. Only two red out of fives have sold, and they are Freddie Freeman and Manny Machado. Judge typically outsells these two, but by how much? I don't know. At number seven, we are with Pac-Man, who on his YouTube channel was opening a bunch of 2023 select basketball blaster boxes in hopes to pull something big. It took nine boxes, but he finally did. Check this out. And the front pack. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's something here. It's green and it's backwards. Let's get cooking. Okay. Oh, green, Bochamp, Tatum, Giannis. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, hey, thank you for watching the video. <laughs> Larry Bird to 10. Whoa. That is officially my biggest retail hit to date. We did it. This is the Larry Bird Selection Committee Signatures Gold numbered 7 out of 10. And I have this at an estimated $400, which is a guess as the only one to sell is his base version, which, which last went for $115. But there is a gold PSA 9 at eBay auction, which will end on Monday. At number six, we are with KC Card Connection, who on his YouTube was doing a personal rip of 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball Blaster Boxes. Check out what he pulled. Ooh, we got a thicky back there. Nice. Is it pink? It looks pink. Okay. So a bunch of pinks. Ooh, we got something else going on. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's turned around. Be like a crazy otter. Oh, my goodness. Adley Rushman. Violet Ultraviolet All-Star Rookies. That's number to 99. Oh, my. This little PC rip just took a trip. This is the Adley Rutschman Ultraviolet Auto numbered 82 out of 99. I have this at $410, which is what the last one of these sold for as a best offer on eBay. These case hit inserts are pretty cool, and the autograph versions are on card. Love that. At number five, we're with PC Poles, and on his YouTube channel, he was opening a 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball Monster Box. Check this out. Think about getting that one graded. That's a very nice looking card there. Corbin Carroll, rookie. What is that? We got Royce Lewis. Oh, Taco, Taco Fractor. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta save that. A few moments later. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. We got a Tigers. Spencer Torkelson out of five! Out of five, Spencer Torkelson! Taco Fractor! Oh my goodness! This is the Spencer Torkelson Taco Fractor, numbered three out of five, and I have this at an estimated $500. Although one has yet to sell, he does have two that are listed for $2,000 or best offer being the lowest. Looking at other Taco Fractor sales, though, these rarely sell for less than $300. They are certainly rare, with odds of pulling them at one in 8,412 packs, but there is also a rumor going around that Topps is going to announce a promotion in which all Taco Fractor holders get tickets or maybe even an all-expenses-paid trip to the MLB game in Mexico City next year. You know, given the Web and Yama event they put on, I wouldn't put it past them to do something with these. At number four, we were with MCK Sports Cards, who breaks here on YouTube and on Facebook, and he was opening 2022 Optic Football. This was a blaster box. Thomas? Uh, what is that? I think we got it downtown, folks. I think we got it downtown. Let's see, is it a rookie? Good luck, everybody. Is 
is that? I have no idea what that is. We're just gonna go down here. Who is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Tim! It's a freaking Kenny Pickett! <laughs> Holy crap! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, don't don't say I never did nothing for you. <laughs> This is the Kenny Pickett Rookie Downtown, and I have this at $725, which is what this card typically sells for raw on average. A PSA 10 of this card, however, sells for over $2,000. At number three, we're with I Pull It here on YouTube, and he was opening 2021 Optic Football, and this was a retail box. You're looking for those two in parallels or downtowns. Oh my god, first pack. First pack. This is the first one I've ever pulled. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! God! Finally! Babe. What? I need you to come in here. I finally pulled a downtown. I don't know who it is yet. This could be... I just want you to... I just want you to witness this. Woo! Come on. First pack. First pack. Okay. I could tell by the... By the lasers right there. Okay, we're gonna pull from the back. We got Ken A. Oh my God, it's Justin Fields. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! My first ever one and that is a rookie. Oh my Lord, that's a lot of money right there. This is the Justin Fields rookie downtown and I have this at $850, which is what the last raw sale of this card was. Not too shabby, but if you were gonna get it graded with PSA, look what the last PSA 10 sold for. At number two, we are with one of one card shop who breaks here on YouTube and on Instagram and they were opening 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. This was a blaster box. We have a we have a one of one, we have a f***ing super fractor in a blaster case. Oh my god, dude! We have a super fractor in a f***ing blaster case, dude. No way. Oh my god, it's a case hit. Oh my god, dude, dude, this is gonna be huge. This is gonna be massive. Start screen recording. All right, so let's set the stage. Only at one of one card shop do we do this. This is a 40 box blaster case. J Rod! One of one! Woo! Julio! Out of a blaster case! This is the Julio Rodriguez Ultraviolet Superfractor 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $1,200. Looking at comps, only Derek Jeter has had a 1 of 1 of this case hit sell, which sold for $950. When comparing Julio's out of 99 and out of 50 sales with Jeter, Julio outsells Jeter by about 25%, but we have one better than this. Let's see who and what took down the top 10 retail polls of the month for the month of August. And at number one for this month is Hunter Martis, whose dad, Dan, tells me that his boys are big football fans, but for the first time ever, he let the boys open some baseball. They each picked one box of 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. These were blaster boxes. And the 11-year-old Hunter pulled this monster. Check this out. All right, well, we got two packs up. This has been a good box, I think. I'm not, I don't really do base. Oh my gosh! We got a freaking Super Fractor one of one. Oh my god. You ready, guys? Oh my gosh! Ryan of Acuna Ultraviolet All Stars! What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god. Is it a one of one? One of one! Oh my god. Oh my gosh! That's a $12,000 card. Oh my God. I, I, this I, is going to be on the top 10 retail polls of the month. Shout out to If Sports Cards. Oh my God. That's a case of ultraviolet. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
This is the Ronald Acuna Jr. Ultraviolet Super Fractor 1 of 1, and I have this at $1,250. Hunter is a long time top 10 watcher and saw my estimation of $12,000 on the Otani when this product first came out. I can now tell you that that is probably not even close to where I would value that now seeing comps, but Acuna does sell almost right in line with Julio on this insert, but I am giving the nod to the leading NL MVP candidate. Congratulations to everybody who made this list, especially you Hunter for pulling the biggest card out of a retail box for the month of August. You won't believe how many DMs, emails I get. Hey, I wish I recorded this. Here's what I pulled out of a retail box. You guys, it doesn't take that much work just to turn your phone on, film your opening. You never know what you're going to pull out of it. And a lot of people won't believe it unless they see it. So in order for you to get on one of these episodes, you have to record your videos. I do have instructions in my description box below for how you can submit those polls. If you see any polls, be sure to shout out this show and be sure to submit that via the form below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you PSA for the sponsorship and thank you to the IFAM for your membership here on YouTube. I cannot wait to see what is pulled over the course of the next month. Hopefully September is a big one. If for some reason you wake up Monday morning, it is a holiday. There is a slim, slim chance I might be going to the Minnesota State Fair on Sunday. If I do that, I doubt I'll be able to get it out on Monday morning, but hopefully you guys are sleeping in anyways. But uh, expect that video on Tuesday if for some reason it's not there on Monday. Don't freak out, all right? We'll see you guys either Monday or Tuesday. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.